this is the rope to rope transfer rescue for level two. Basically what we've done, we picked the guy off, he was in his car, and now I've got two points to me. Before I start this exercise, I'm making sure that my ropes are joined at the bottom so that I can pull the ropes towards me. Yeah. I need to make sure that I'm in a descender and a backup. Preferably an ASAP because it travels nicely with you. And so it doesn't matter what backup you use. So you can use a shunt, you can also use an ASAP, but I prefer the shunt that doesn't move. The ASAP tends to try and run down the rope. Okay? But each to their own, that's just my preference. Okay, so what we need to do is make sure we have good rope management, like I currently do. Take these ropes and you feed it over this side. Okay, I'll move this Okay, there we go. So, take this bear back up. And put your back up on first. Push it up as high as you can. Drop the one here. Take your extra descender. Because you can never be in your crawl when you're rescuing someone. So, two descenders. Make sure you flip it through the short link or so and your gearing. And insert the rope into your second piece anchor. And again, you can pull up this. Okay, lock off. Right. Now, one key to the rescue is a spare juma and a pulley. So, we put the juma on the right, take the pulley off, put the pulley on the tail end of our descend the throat to the side we're traveling to and push that up as high as possible yeah now there's two ways to do this if you're a strong guy or girl you just pull yourself but some people can't do it or fatigue you would take your juma and flip it onto this way for me i'm just going to pull okay be very careful not to exceed the angle of 120 degrees. You don't want to go there. If this starts getting hard, you know you're at the time where you need to de Okay. Quite simple. And you see how I turn myself towards the direction so that I'm using my arms the way I would normally. Okay, starting to get a bit hard for me. So, fine with that. I'm going to take my other descender, install my friction carabiner. Yeah. I like to put my friction carabiner on the descender carabiner because it allows the rope to control very easy and if it's a big fella we can double wrap it and create even more friction but for this dummy it's not that big and remember keep your points up nice and high Make sure your ASAP has traveled so you don't get stuck. And then descend. Right. And watch the ground. What's happening now? I'm closing this angle. I'm making it smaller than what it was, which will then in turn make my climbing easier. So when it gets hard, this is the reason why we descend to close the angle. Okay? Lock off, stay like that. For this video, I'm going to change over to this. Okay. Alright. So, take my 
on. Get it on. Get that side as high as possible. Get my foot in. Come on. Alright. You always want to kick in line with these set of ropes. So you don't want to kick down. You're pulling the handle away. It's going to make it harder. If you kick in line, you grab that trim right there. If you kick in line, it works. I'm locking the descent, it also works. Okay. You do not need to adjust this jumo ever. Why? Because you do not need to lock it off also because your foot is controlling the tail end of the rope. All we do, we lift up again. See? The jumo will always go up. You do not forget about your back up. Get it as high as possible. So as you can see, this is just an exercise of climbing now. I'm going to put my foot one step higher and it will get me a little bit more. If I can, a little bit fat. Good. All right. Yeah. Now we're moving. Loosen this carabiner and slide the carabiner. 